Hi, I'm Dee Daniels and I'm spending some time today at Spotsylvania Regional Medical Center. As you know, they are our caring partner for Pinktober, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we've got a panel here with us today. We've got Tracy, who is the Senior Leader of Imaging Services, Amy, who is the Senior Leader Oncology Service Line, and also Anne Marie, who is Breast Care and Oncology Navigator. I want to start with you, Tracy, and talk about the mammos and massages because this is such a huge event, not just for October, obviously, but it continues even past that. Yeah, Dee, we've had a great response um, this past month of October. Um, we've had them every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evening. We've had later hours in the evening. So um, with that great response and turnout, we're actually have extended those dates into November and December. Excellent. And of course, it sounds like not only are you guys getting a great turnout, but you're also getting a lot of women who are finding things early, and that's really what it's all about, early detection. Absolutely. Um, women should be getting their baseline mammogram at the age of 40. I'm not there yet, but almost. Um, but um, if women want to get their uh, mammogram at 35, they should check with their insurance company first to see if it's covered. Um, now, Amy, I wanted to talk to you as well about the, uh, the radiation and, and some other things that you're in charge of. What we want to build here is a non a one-stop shop for cancer care during the whole continuum. So from screening to diagnosis and then care, treatment, and then follow-up care into survivorship. But what we are specifically offering here is we do have an infusion center where patients can come and receive chemotherapy and or supportive care such as blood products. And then this summer we were fortunate to open our cancer center which includes a radiation oncology department. And we have Dr. Michael Perrazzo here who came to us from Washington Hospital Center and a staff that has excellent um, experience from multiple other sites and we are looking forward to doing both. We already do external beam radiation therapy, which is kind of standard radiation therapy, but we also just installed our HDR unit, which is high dose radiation unit. So that will enable us to do some more um, newer treatments for breast cancer and gynecologic cancers. Anne-Marie, I want to talk to you about Pink Mondays. This has been really special for you guys. You've been doing it in the month of October and will continue through the end of the month. Tell us a little bit about Pink Mondays. Pink Mondays is actually a breast care health seminar. Uh, we hold three seminars throughout the month of October. We talk about different breast issues. We have different physicians that come and they answer questions, they give lectures. We also have survivors that come and they talk about their stories. They do uh, stress reduction techniques and just help the women kind of know that what they're going through, they're not going through alone. That's wonderful. And you know, I love your title, Breast Care and Oncology Navigator. It seems like you guys have such a personal touch with all of your patients. Tell us a little bit more about what you do because it's really special. My role actually begins in the very beginning stages when a woman comes in for her screening mammogram or if they're coming in for a diagnostic, which means they may have a lump or pain. Um, right after that's done, if it comes back abnormal, the first call is from me. And then I kind of stick through that entire journey with that patient. So if they are diagnosed with a positive cancer, I help guide them through that cancer journey on into survivorship. Wow, that's amazing and really a step-by-step -step process that you guys hold hands through the whole, the whole thing. Um, Amy, I wanted to ask you, I know you guys here at Spotsylvania Regional are in partnership with VCU and that's a really special partnership. We're very fortunate not only to be in a joint venture with VCU, but also have the whole HCA Virginia Cancer Network, which uh, allows us a sistership with our other HCA Virginia hospitals in Richmond. We can draw from that knowledge base as well. We really appreciate you guys partnering with us every single year. Now you can get information on our website at b1015.com keyword pink, but I know Tracy, you can also get information on you guys' website. Correct, you can go to the Spotsylvania Regional website, which is spotsrmc.com. You can also call Kristen Thompson at 540 848-4510 and get that mammoth scheduled. Excellent. We appreciate the partnership and thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.